Welcome to another tutorial on Superimpose app. In this video, I will explain the tools under the filters section. I am doing it on an iPad, but the interface is almost identical on iPhone as well. In the filters section you can edit the light and color of the foreground, and the background. I have already loaded a background photo. Let me tap on the filter tab. You can find six different tools. Basic, Balance, Color, Effects, Blur and Curve. Basic lets you adjust the exposure, brightness, and contrast of the image. Balance lets you adjust the color tones of the image. For example, I can increase the red and yellow of the image to give it some kind of an early morning look. Or I can do some extreme changes to create some dramatic effect. In the colors section you can play around with the hue, to create some fun effects. The saturation, to make the colors more or less intense. Or you can also invert one or more primary colors, or all of them. In effects, you can add a color effect, or more popularly known as filter, to your photo. There are 63 different effects to choose from. In Blur, you can blur the image. And lastly, we have the Curve Filter. Here you can adjust the points throughout the photo's tonal range. Initially the curve is a straight line like this. Adding a point at the top and moving it around, adjusts the highlights of the image. The bottom points in the curve represents the shadows of the image. The middle point can adjust the mid-tones. An S-shaped curve like this can be used to increase the contrast of the image. To remove a point in the curve, you can just drag it up all the way and then release it, just like this. You can do the same thing to individual color channels too. For example, I am going to make the highlights of the image more red. And shadows more blue. You can tap and hold on the compare button to see the before and the after applying the filter. If you want to reset a particular filter, you can open the filter setting like this and then press the cross button. Let's try that with another filter. And I can reset it like this. Let's apply another filter and compare the before and after. And next to the compare button, we have a reset button. This will reset all the filters, just like this. Now let me add a foreground image into the project. Let me place it. And drop a shadow. Just like this. Okay. Now let me go to the filters section again. You can see that there is a new button that appears here. Using this you can select either the background or the foreground. The filters are applied only to the selected image. Let me select the background and make it look more dramatic. This looks interesting. Let me do the same thing to the car as well. So, let me switch to the foreground. Okay, this is now matching with the background. Let me also blur the car a little bit.
What if you want to apply a filter to the entire image instead of just the foreground or the background? You can merge the foreground into the background to make it a single image just like this. Now you can apply a filter to the entire image. But you have to remember, that when you merge you will not be able to move the foreground around, or mask it. Let me try applying a color effect into the image. This looks good to me. That's all in this tutorial. Thank you for watching.